one come all. No, no, no. Where's the others? Because I know there's others. There are. Well, okay. Maybe. Maybe I uh, got a picture of all of them in one form or another. Okay, we have to say goodbye to the clock. I salute you, Glock. You're a very, a very good pistol. Albeit hideous. I guess it's not really fair to call the Glock hideous, though, because... I mean, it was built specifically for functionality, not looks. But you have old rifles, old um, lever action rifles that have the, um, the engravings and whatnot in the wood and the steel, and they're just gorgeous weapons. No, 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 no. I completely forgot. I forgot that happened. That sequence there, I mean. <laughs> and I'm also wearing headphones, so it's all it it was a bit louder than I expected. That's the one jump scare I think I have forgotten about. Huh. Even though I've played this game for over 40 hours, I think it's almost 50 hours now, but anyway, even though I've done that, I, I stepped away from this game for a few days, so I don't remember it quite as much as I should. A few days ago, I could pretty much just walk through this game blindfolded. So long as the difficulty was low. I probably should have taken the time to go through this game on like, I don't know, medium or something, but... I don't have time for that right now. Ow. Now see, nightmare mode is realistic. When you take a bullet... You take a bullet. <laughs> oh, thank God he missed. <sighs> Wait, what is that? Oh. I thought that was a, a monster. Yeah, I'm glad it's not. I was thinking, oh, I hope it's not because uh, the camera flash isn't, isn't going to reach that far. I don't, I really don't understand why the voice actor for that scene is uh, British. Because the developers, and this entire game, takes place in Sweden. Uh, the developers were Swedish, except for the programmer. He wasn't. The main one, anyway. Um, yeah, so why was the train announcer guy 
Why was he not Swedish? Why didn't they just get uh, Stieg uh, Sitongen to uh, to also do the, the train guy voice, or the voice actor who uh, who voiced the doctor, Doctor Purnell? Come on, let me save. Doesn't really make any sense that it was an English guy. Grab the camera. Oh, I see. They are cutting themselves. Huh. I didn't notice that before, but I... I read that they were. And I was like, huh? Really? But yeah, they are. I can't. I... I don't know what to do. I, I'm just going to have to risk it. Okay, fall damage is the same. Fall damage is, um, is the exact same across all difficulties. So that's a good thing to note. I was kind of thinking, oh, it's nightmare mode, it's going to change. But no, no it hasn't. Which is kind of strange. Okay. Alright, let's quickly get through this hallway. Okay, so the combination for this is car wheelchair gun and then book for anyone who hasn't you know played this game <laughs> I hate this part there it is there's multiple so don't trust the fact that you see if you see one, you run out a hall, you run down the hallway, and thinking, "Oh, good, he's just behind me," you know. Don't trust that. <laughs> okay. You just kind of stay behind him. I think it's this one. Okay, good. Yes. I've almost got this completely memorized. Okay, there's... Good, okay. Skip. I think by now everyone's seen the cutscenes. Okay, where do I have to go? I have to drop... Oh no! I have to drop... Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, stop, stop, stop! Please! No, 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 stop! <laughs> the camera, it does nothing! What? What just happened? Yeah. I, I just simply don't trust the camera. Ooh. 
with the magic of editing, we're going to jump to the other fuse panel when the fuse is already stuck in. Boom, there we are. <laughs> Done. Oh, the magic of editing. So many questions. But no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home. Okay, cutscene skip doesn't work anymore, so uh I just had to edit that out. Oh well. Just a cutscene. Sorry, mate. This part is so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love... I absolutely love this mod. <laughs> but this part... is It feels like a filler. It's really just a filler. It's only purpose is just to kill time. I mean, the point to this section is to place a foot in a in a briefcase or suitcase or whatever that is, and that causes the train to crash. I mean, I guess you could justify it by saying, well, every bit of this is just in Simon's head. And yeah, I guess that's fair enough. That's why when you go through the apartment building, it dynamically changes. The bars come up out of nowhere because it's none of it's real. But this still, you know, it, it feels a bit like a filler. Hold on a second. No, it's... The volume is still down. That's strange, because it sounds louder. And I haven't even adjusted the volume on my uh, headphones. So I don't know. Maybe it's just my ears adjusting to it. Oh, I can skip it! Awesome! Okay, I am going to use one of my saves here, because this this part is extremely glitchy. And because I'm on nightmare mode, uh, I may have a shorter time, so... And it looks like I do. <laughs> this part is glitchy, though, seriously. Like, annoyingly glitchy. Right, right here. Well, I didn't. Uh, normally, I get stuck. But. Hey, hey, not bad. Not bad at all. That's the fastest time I've ever done that. <laughs> 